I just found a, our biggest piece of the day. Okay, that might be our biggest piece of the day. I know you saying this, but now we found our biggest piece of the day. Nice Paul. Hello. So I'm out here today with our friend Dan Hurd, and he invited me out because, well, I'm in between traveling right now, and I said, why not? I'll I'll take some of his gold. He just found a, a strap that somebody lost on the road, so now bonus bonus so dan's plan isn't only to put time on the claim as that's legally required for any of us to keep our claims down here but he's here to test the claim to see how good it is now i'm going to test the claim with him but i'll be underwater because it's a quick way to look for gold and i'm fairly good at it now it's just a matter of walking to the river and hopefully finding gold i like trying new creeks you never know, know what you're going to get so, I have no expectation today, and sometimes those are the best days. So the test is going good so far. I found our first piece of metal, lead. Ooh. Oh yeah. All right, so because I've never been here before, the best way to check if there's gold is to look where the gold likes to sit, on the bedrock. So in order to look at the bedrock, we must first remove a bunch of gravel to make a hole. Now, I know there is gold here, but how much? There's a bunch of this rough quartz that's sticking out here, so I've kind of just been breaking it apart. I've been finding a bunch of little gold, and I just found our first picker of the day. And there we have it, our first piece of blurry gold. Let's call it a day. I think that was smaller than a picker, but definitely our biggest piece of the day so far. Removing this sharp quartz shouldn't be done without gloves, but I don't care, I forgot them. We are on gold, and that's all that matters. I got Bailey to hold the camera while I was sniping and I just found a, our biggest piece of the day. Again, not huge, but still our biggest piece. We even found more lead. I always take the lead out of the river because Mother Nature seems to replace it with more gold. It's also a great indicator that other heavy metals could be in this spot too. The spot right here is interesting. The crevice is smooth, but I found one little area that has rocks that are packed in it. In all my sniping videos, I always say you gotta look for the rocks that are packed, and that's exactly why. So what I mean is, if there's a piece of gold in here, there is no way during a flood it's going to escape on its own. So it's always worth digging into these spots. Uh -huh, look at that. Lots of wood. And the fact that these round pieces of lead can't escape, for sure, a rough piece of candy wouldn't either. <laughs> So obviously, if I were finding gold and lead along this crevice, we're going to clean it all out. And it looks untouched, so you never know what we could find. Okay, that might be our biggest piece of the day. It's also our most coarse piece. Yeah. I found a really coarse bit. Yay. When you find coarser pieces of gold, it usually suggests that the gold hasn't traveled very far. Oh, cool. Which can be an excellent oh. sign. We got two little nuggets in there. So this new claim of dance, it's good. It passes the poly test. I know Dan doesn't really like getting in the water much, but I'm hoping today I convince him to get in the water more. Yes, it's uncomfortable being cold, but wearing the right wetsuit, you're actually quite warm.
Oh, there we go. Just found a nice flat flake. It's really You're flat looking. It, huh? You're killing it. Yes, not doing that. It's just a nice little crevice. <laughs> there it is. They look so much bigger underwater. And here's Polly sniping underwater, finding all the gold today so far. Well, finding the good stuff. I don't know what I'm finding more of, gold or lead. Oh, really? They're, they're both a really good sign, but a lot of lead here too. I've only found one piece of lead so far myself, and only specks of gold. We're a team, Dan. <laughs> you can find it today. I'm glad if you're finding it. Yay. It's fun hanging out with Paul. These tiny pieces of gold normally get blown away when I'm fanning, but I always suck them up if I see them. The gold doesn't look very big, but it's loaded here. If you've seen enough of my videos, you'll know that I love finding big gold. I mean, who doesn't? But that does not mean I don't enjoy finding smaller gold too. I love it all. I continued up this crevice and the crevice stopped so there's no more gold in there. I came back over here to use the crowbar to actually start breaking up some bedrock again. And now I'm starting to notice a lot more gold up in here. Oh. Yeah. So now that I've tested the edges for gold, I've kind of moved to the center of the river and I am finding a lot of nice looking bedrock and I just came across a decent looking crevice that also has a little piece of gold in it. So this claim is, it seems to be fine. Something to keep in mind is that just because I'm finding a bunch of gold today doesn't necessarily mean the claim is good. I could just be hitting the one concentrated spot along the river so it's important to do tests from different areas. Okay, this crevice is starting to look really good, so I'm going to work here for a while. I'll probably clear out this other way just to see what it looks like going in this direction, and then I'll go up in this direction and see which way is better. I already just got another one. A lot of people ask me if, when I fan like this, if I'm blowing away smaller gold. The answer is yes and no. Generally, yeah, if they're really small, I'm probably blowing away lots of it, but if that's what I was looking for, I might as well just be gold panning. For anything else that's slightly bigger than fly poop, because it's so heavy, when you're fanning, it'll be the last thing you see before it takes flight or just sits there like the lead does because it's so heavy. I didn't expect to go out today, but I went out last minute and I'm very impressed with how much gold we're finding. So I just moved a whole bunch of big rocks out of the way to continue on in this crack. And now I found the biggest piece of the day. I just used a crowbar to pop out a big stuck rock. And guess what I found? More gold. Oh, oh look at that. Nice. We found our first round nugget. It looks pretty smooth. So I'm going to suck up a few more pieces of gold, then I'm going to have a quick break. So I'm just having a quick break. I don't want to, but I'm hungry, and so I thought I, I, thought I should have a break. How's Dan doing? Not finding very much gold, but I'm hungry too. Yeah, so we're both having a break. I quickly dumped out my snuffer bottle to show you guys how much gold and lead I'm finding so far. Dan's quite impressed. I'm impressed too, because this is the first time I've been here. And we're not doing that bad. So I'm doing this with one hand. It's all Photoshop. All Photoshop, yeah. <laughs> yeah, there's definitely gold in there. Wow. A lot of lead, which is a good sign that there could be lead around. That's not bad. The nuggets are this afternoon. Huh? Nuggets, this afternoon. Yes. Okay crumbs all over me, don't I? <laughs> <laughs> so I'm just gonna quickly finish my lunch here. <laughs> and then, uh, yeah, then we'll go back in. So I'm finding consistent gold here, obviously, but it's so hard to work because I'm going deeper and deeper and the more gravel I have to move out of the way. So I'll go a little bit longer, then I'll work my way upstream further to see if we can find another easier spot. 
spoke too soon. I just found another nice one. <laughs> So I see this little ledge here, decided to work right in this corner, got rid of a bunch of little gravel and found another one. Now, because gold is very heavy for its size, it will wedge itself as deep as it can go after millions of years. So it can be very difficult to get back out. Now, obviously, since there was gold there, there could easily be more gold under these packed rocks. So we're gonna look through it. <laughs> I totally deserve that. Okay, just about to give up again. I'm just working the bedrock, breaking up pieces of bedrock, just minding my own business, not paying attention. And now, I know I keep saying this, but now we found our biggest piece of the day. I was already here earlier before I went upstream, and I'm glad I just continued down this way. I'm making Dad happy right now. Oh yeah. Not a bad piece. Billy just said he found some more gold on bedrock. Yeah, this this clay was turned out pretty well. And Dad just said he found another hole that had no gold in it. <laughs> now, I don't know if Dad's gonna let me keep the gold today, but if he does, I think I might put this piece of gold on my next auction. The biggest piece I... <laughs> Sorry, my lips are numb. The biggest piece that I find today, if Dan lets me keep the gold, I'll put up on my auction on my website. That's a nice looking piece. Got a bad little piece. Nice, Paul. Little picker. It's a little nose picker. <laughs> I'm just working deep in the bedrock and that, that's where everything's coming out of. Nice. Looks so much bigger underwater. <laughs> they have loop. Oh, that's awesome, Paul. Yeah, not bad. Loving it. Cool. I realized my GoPro is set in the widescreen right now, so all the gold is going to look much smaller on camera. I spent the rest of my temperature looking through this one spot, but after about 20 minutes, I had to call it a day. Not finding gold. I'm kind of used to, but after a while, it does get a little, you know, It gets a little, a little discouraging, especially yeah. when you're right next to somebody finding a million ounces. <laughs> I absolutely loved his finding gold, but I did curse at him every time he said, oh, there's another piece. I don't, like, I don't actually have to keep all the gold, but he was nice enough to let me oh, keep yeah. all the gold I found today. Same here with Bailey, which also means the biggest piece of gold that I found today, I'll throw up on my auction for $1. So you bid a dollar, bid $2. If no one else bids on it, you get it for $2. I'm bidding on it. He's going to bid on it. And how you, will Okay, take two. And how are you doing today? Pretty good, finding quite a bit of gold actually, and it's just been busting open this bedrock and nice. found maybe five decent flakes, found a picker. Well, you found 10,000 yeah. times well. more gold than I found. <laughs> yeah. So I'm just gonna get changed, go back to the car, drive to the airport, catch a flight, land, catch a boat, ride a horse, ride a donkey, skateboard, and eventually I'll get back to my house. We'll look at the gold a little closer, weigh it all, and see how much, uh, Dan lost. So here's the pile of gold that I found today. I did way better than I thought I would to be completely honest. I was expecting to find maybe a couple specks, but this is more than a couple specks. These are the biggest pieces that were found today, all very coarse and chunky. And this is our biggest nugget that we found. I believe it's a bit bigger than the last one I gave away in our auction. So I'm excited to see what this weighs and who gets it. So the nugget weighs, I'm gonna guess 0.3. Wow, half a gram, 0.51. So it is bigger than our last piece. Now for the rest, my guess, a gram and a half. <laughs> Over double that, 3.38 grams. That is significantly better than I thought we would do. So this gold goes into the... Uh, so this gold goes into the August bag, and for the auction, if you go to pioneerpoly.com, you can start the bid at $1, and this gold nugget could be yours. Thanks for watching.